So it's open air, but it isn't netted. And we're putting up some duvetine to make it private. But that's where all the performers will break, we'll do cast meetings, we'll do makeup all in there because it's open air and it's secure. Yeah. Over here, we've got the stage where the fog queen will live. So she is the spirit of Halloween. And Michael Burnett's doing this really cool thing where she has a CDC approved face mask, but it's super creepy. And when she's wearing it, she seems really seductive and flirtatious. And when she takes it off, when she's a safe distance away mm -hmm. up on the stage, she's really like gruesome and gnarly underneath. That's awesome. So she'll be performing up here. She'll do live mic meet and greet sets, talk to performer, uh, talk to guests, and she will uh, take photos from the stage. So out here at Scream and Stream, your car, 91.7, if my camera will focus, is the radio station you're gonna be tuned to before you head into the attraction. So that's really cool. And we're gonna go check it out now. Yes. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. All righty, can I just double check some safety things, some seat belts for you? Oh, Miss, whoops. can you pull on that yellow strap? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> okay. That's essentially just taking your foot off of the brake and letting it just kind of coast. Uh, go ahead and ride that brake for me just to make sure. Uh, we're gonna check your headlight. Things to work. Go ahead and slam on the brakes for me. Got it. Good stuff, sir. Do you have uh, at least eighth of a tank of black gas? I have a half a tank of gas. Hey, that'll, that'll do it. Let's hope, right? Fingers crossed. So, uh, from there on, you should be good to go. Might be mindful of any performers that will approach, that will not approach the car, but just be mindful of everybody out here and uh, have a great time. You know, don't get scared. Thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, sacrifices later. We gotta work on this spiel. <laughs> So this is the first scene here. We're dressing this right now to be a ticket office for the drive-in theater. And this is the abandoned drive-in theater to drive into. And the drive -in theater. You do keep your headlights in dim mode out here. Wow, well, forgot to mention that. We're heading into the drive-in. I'm just gonna have Chris yell at me when I can stop recording. <laughs> the very first scene will be right to your right. This is where the cult leader lives. He'll come out and warn you that you uh, shouldn't have come here. And he'll show you what happens to people that come here. We shouldn't be here, but we're going anyways. The typical horror movie haunt mantra. Then we'll experience the breakdown of the car. So you can see we've already flagged some areas. These are where speakers are gonna be going. Wherever you see an orange flag tonight, that's for audio. Um, this is where the, a desperate cheerleader will ask you if you've seen her boyfriend and ask you for help with her car. Uh, she'll interact with you for about 45 seconds. Our first encounter with a cult member will be to your right. You can see we've got some automated searchlights in the distance there. Those are not manned by performers, those are just little robot lights. Those are cool. <laughs> Very ET. Yeah. Elliot. Elliot. We'll have an encounter with a cult member and a wood chipper who's grinding up some distance. And some uh, blood will be sprayed on your car. Mmm, yummy. A uh, nice gentleman with a wheelbarrow full of body parts will be roaming this little path right here to our left. Another cult member attack to your right. Once you've uh, taken, quote unquote, the psychedelic beverage, 
you'll meet the deity that the cult members worship, and that will be a large floating sculpture controlled by a puppeteer to your right. A lot of darkness out there, so we're gonna use <laughs> black light to. Uh, I was telling these guys, you guys have the perfect uh, um, canvas. Yeah. It is that. dark out here. Right. <laughs> so I'm coming so up. You're driving. <laughs> it's dark and a lot of tree cover. Yeah. Coming up, we're going to show you a small example of one scene and how it will work. You can see there's a red light. What are you doing out here? I mean, what do you, I like you. Who's out here tonight? And that music you're hearing is original music composed by Andy Garfield, who did Marathon of Mayhem last year. Such a good show. <laughs> so every scene, every stop will involve a traffic light, a live performer, a live mic, lighting, and some sort of story element. Chris didn't want us spoiling right the finale, so. I literally have that feeling like when you first go into a Horror Nights house, or like any type of haunted house, yeah. you're just so excited. <laughs> and like you don't know what's gonna happen, but you just wanna like full fledged go through it. That's the feeling I have. Right now. <laughs> and that's so cool because I thought we lost that feeling this year. So I'm really happy that I have it. So again, operationally, cars queuing there to go into the, the finale off this road. And you are proceeding forward back towards the ticket office where there'll be one yeah, final twist facade. ending that I'm not gonna share with you but we will learn something about our characters that reveals all. And then you will queue to exit, and with 11 and a half minutes of core driving and 10 vehicle stops, <laughs> we'll have about 25 minutes of content. Nice. Vehicles will queue here to exit, and once they're clear to go, they will operate on that same one direction road. We'll send four cars in, and then four cars out. Okay, so earlier in the car, you guys saw the entrance facade, but we're kind of out taking a walking tour now and uh, this is the uh, the, the drive-in movie screen that you uh, that you drive through at the beginning of the uh, attraction so here's the uh, here's one of the systems that they utilize for cars stopping and going it's all wireless remote by the scare actors performers they hit a button light is red hit it light turns green light is green trap is clean and like it's been mentioned, guys, they will have airboat rides going on out here during Scream and Stream. Out here on, I believe this, this is Lake Toho, right? Yeah. Toho? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but they will be having haunted airboat tours out here during Scream and Stream, which is really cool. That's it from here at Scream and Stream? Yes. yes. Scream and Stream. <laughs> Well, uh, we have we hopefully this little sneak peek uh, gets you guys excited. I know we're all excited. I'm like bouncing. I'm so happy. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's uh, from what we saw tonight. It's it. I, I it's love gonna the be setup intense. of the whole thing. It's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, um, you know, a lot of people had a lot of questions about these drive-through haunts, how it's going to work, um, you know, the logistics of it, and uh, it, now that we've got a little. Uh, sneak peek of it uh i think we're all excited to come out here and check it out so um yeah. be sure to listen if you guys are watching this on youtube be sure to go listen to the podcast uh we talk about a lot of stuff with the uh with the event and uh uh yeah we'll uh we're, we're excited so thanks guys for watching and uh, we'll see you guys next time Bye. spooky season is here